I'm Chelsea Bray. I study political science and I'm from Walnut Shade, Missouri. I work as a research assistant in the department and I also work as a graduate assistant for the McNair Scholars Program. What we're working on this fall is we had this unique situation where Kansas passed a law in 2011 legislating that all voters had to present a photo ID in order to be able to vote. However, they didn't specify exactly how counties were to go about informing voters of this. And so what we saw was that we had some counties who took different approaches than others. So for example, Douglas County took the approach that they wanted to make sure all votes were included and they provided means for voters to have provisional ballots and really stressed in their advertising of this law that you would be able to vote somehow as opposed to other counties who just said you have to have ID or you cannot vote. And then we even had some counties that really didn't do much of anything. And so what we're wanting to do is compare these different advertising strategies to see if there's a difference in turnout based on the type of strategy that was used. So we're using um, a statistical technique to match counties that are identical in every way except for the advertising strategy used. So it could be that most voters in the state of Kansas do have a current photo ID and there aren't enough individuals to um, make a difference. So what county clerks end up doing with the data really depends on what the results are. So if we find, for example, that there is a big difference between advertising strategies, that would be great if they would incorporate that. And obviously, if we find that not doing anything is the same as doing something, then counties can cut costs, not printing off all the signs and the information and sending out materials. And so that's one of the reasons that we're doing this project is to find out if having a photo ID has an effect on turnout or not. I love the faculty in our department. They're fantastic to work with. They're very, very willing to take graduate students um, under their wing and mentor them, which is great for me not only because I get full exposure to the research process, but also because I get to learn um, directly working with them.